uh, back to freedom. You know, my own journey of freedom was realizing like, damn, I want to travel outside the country. I want to take me and my girl on a vacation. And the first thing I got to do is ask some other grown man if I could get a couple days off to go live my life. Now, I know that this seems normal because we've been working for so many years. Vacation time is just a part of our life at, at this point. But something didn't struck me right when I had to ask for that, you know? And then sometimes someone telling me, well, let, let me see. Let me see what I could do. What are you talking about? What do you mean, let you see if I could go on vacation? That, I don't know if it's my makeup and how I work, but I don't like that. I don't like being told, like, what to do. And I'm not trying to rebel. I just started to see where I wasn't all the way free. You know what I mean? It's so, okay. So then from there, I get the vacation time. We get to doing us. But then it's like, okay, well... America in itself seems a little tight. You know what I mean? Like, where do I get my fresh water from? Where, where do I get my, my food from? Like, I wasn't starting to feel free, you know? I didn't see any pineapples growing. I can't grow pineapples in Chicago. So it's like, all right, well, now I got to go to the store. What happens when the store closes down? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not free again. I'm under your rule. I'm um, not independent, you know? I'm not self-sufficient. And these are things that I was truly valuing, like... I want to be able to support me and my family all the way. Same thing with the houses. Like, okay, I could buy a house, which isn't even going to be a lot of property. Most people buy houses, and it's just a little bit of land, big old house or stuff, you know? And I was ready to take that next leap, but it was like, okay, well, now I got to pay property taxes, and the house could never be mine. Let me miss property taxes one, one year, you know? The sheriff's going to be at my door telling me to get out. So it's like, do I really own the house or the land? I don't think so. And that didn't feel good to me. I didn't feel free like that. So I had to find a place, an environment that allowed me to truly feel free. And uh, and I did that. So, with this quick little snippet of my life, just a quick snippet, man. It's so much detail. I can go on for days and hours about this journey. Which I will maybe one day. In a little series or something. But uh, today, it's all I got to give. I've reached my destination. I'm finna go be present, living my life. But I love y'all so much. Anybody wants to, you know, come see this in the flesh. Uh, come get a taste of what we got going on over here. Holla at me, baby. Holy Haven, IG, YouTube, donation-based retreats. You know what that means? That means that all you got to do is get your ass to Costa Rica and give us whatever your heart desire. There's no set price. I'm going to treat you right. Your donation includes where you sleep and includes some of the best vegan food on the planet. You dig? All right, y'all. I love y'all. Catch y'all later. Peace.